Aviation safety can be jeopardized by multiple hazards, including uh, volcanic eruptions, uh, ash, uh, sandstorms, uh, forest fires, also severe weather. And recently, uh, we've been experiencing that uh, solar radiation or space weather can also affect communication, navigation systems, pollution of ARPAs, or even the exposure of uh, crew and passengers to radiation at very high levels. The environmental impact of aviation can be considered as an additional threat, not affecting or not jeopardizing the safety of aviation, but affecting the planet. In Alarm, we aim at developing a prototype early warning system that monitors the status of these hazards and also provides a forecast of its evolution towards the future. Stakeholders can access to the information on the current status of the atmosphere in a tailored manner, but also on the future evolution in a way that they can better take decisions. All in all, uh, increasing safety, increasing the capacity, uh, reducing environmental impact and eventually also increasing the efficiency of flights. In order to build this early warning system platform, we rely on observations from remote sensing devices, that is to say instruments on board satellites, that are continuously monitoring the Earth, and we combine this information with uh, numerical weather uh, predictions to develop our products. All hazards related to ash, SO2, dust and uh, forest fire. We have been able to incorporate geostationary satellite information into the system, increasing the temporal and spatial resolution of the information. We have been also able to uh, develop a now casting algorithm for SO2 evolution at local level at an airport. For that we have been using artificial intelligence. We have also developed a now casting algorithm for the prediction of uh, severe thunderstorms around an airport and we have applied this into two airports, Brussels and Milano. And we have been able to develop a, a short-term forecast of the evolution of climatic hotspots, which are uh, those areas in which uh, we might expect aircraft flying through them to produce uh, a high climatic impact in terms of increase of temperature of the planet towards the next 20, 50 years. In that manner, the world manager at the space, they could define those areas as ecological areas, and uh, take decisions in the sense in the sense of constraining or regulating traffic. We can also pass this information to flight dispatchers so that they integrate the information into their tools and produce flight plans that are climatically speaking friendlier.